Hey YouTube, Stove Mods here, your Hobo Stove channel. Um, this is my first wood gas stove and since I know much more about that stuff than a few months ago, I'd like to apply some changes to that in terms, in, in order to make it more effective. And what I'm gonna do is just give more air to it, like opening or, or making the ventilation holes bigger, like I'm gonna make this ones bigger and these and especially these of course that put the secondary air into the burning chamber and also the top part I created I'm gonna make these holes bigger so I'm just gonna add more air and um, after that of course I'm gonna do a boiling test and see how it performs so let's see Okay, here we go again, um, and here's what I did. I drilled more holes in the grid. I connected those holes, there were always two, now it's like one slot. Same thing here. I connected the holes to slots. And same thing here. Now let's see what it does. Now I'll repeat the boiling test for the stove. I did one like half a year ago and it took around 10 minutes and 30 seconds to boil 500 milliliters of water. Of course conditions are never identical but similar so let's see if there's really a difference or not. By the way I stopped measuring how much wood I need for tests just because it's never been more than around 300 grams and so it really doesn't matter that much in my opinion. Okay, let's start. Burns quite nice, so I will start now. Yeah, it burns good enough to burn my the hair on my arms, actually. We're at the seven minutes now, and the water starts to boil. When I remember right that the last test actually didn't really boil it just like a little bit. Let's take a look here. That's what it looks like after seven minutes. And by the way, today it is colder than during the last test. During the last test it was really summer and warm. But today it's not exactly cold but not warm either. So I have to continue feeding it. Nine minutes now. So in my opinion, well, in my opinion it really makes a difference because Although we're at 9 minutes and 30 seconds already, the water starts actually to really, really boil what it did not the last time, although it was hotter outside. So, in my opinion, there's definitely an improved performance just by, like, drilling some more holes and improving the airflow. Look what we have now. So the conclusion, I definitely recommend to make sure with any stove you make to have good ventilation, like really really good. I mean there can be too much but in most cases that I see it's actually not enough or it is not done the right way so that you don't have a draft effect. I mean some people build even stoves with no grid at all, what I never understood because in my opinion a grid is essential 
for the performance. Okay, and now I want to see the jets, but I have, have to feed it some more. I'll be back in a few seconds. And as you can see, fire is coming from from the jet holes. So still the um, you see more on this side than on this, but depends just how the wood is put in there. Um, so the principle still works. What I just figured out when when feeding this this again, one actually thing that might be improved is the grid. It's not a good grid. Actually, I should replace it with a real grid because this is still like it allows enough airflow. But the problem is, it's wide enough, or, or the the parts are big enough to to keep all the ashes on them, and and uh, so the the openings in the grid will get smaller and smaller just because there's lots of ashes on it and and um, yeah that's not perfect so that's why I have a video about uh, what in my opinion is the best best grid material and um, that's why when now I make a stove I usually use it because drilling holes into a thing like that is like you know it works, but there's a really better solutions. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed um, me redoing this stove, and um, still there's always room for improvement. Also now, but um, I think I'm done with this one. Uh, maybe I make a new one one day. Have a nice Sunday. Bye, folks. Hey, folks. I just changed my opinion about the grid. I am gonna do an improvement of this stove again. Because, as you can see, it doesn't burn down clean, and that's due to the grid structure. And um, that's why the performance uh, got worse during the boiling test. And as you can see, there's almost no ash below it, so that means the ash stays on the grid. So, um, this is it for today, but um, this is not over. So, um, I will do this soon, I hope, and I will let you know, of course. But now, goodbye, folks.